G'day YouTube and welcome back to another episode on the RX-7. In this episode we're going to be upgrading the audio system and the head unit for that ultimate cinematic experience. Currently it's got an Alpine Apple CarPlay unit fitted, which is kind of useless to me. I'm an Android guy and I love Android. It's a lot more functional and a lot more customizable to my needs. So my plan, and I'm really hoping it's going to work, is to fit an oversized 8 inch display powered by an Android unit into the factory fascia. Now the factory fascia is going to need some cutting, it's going to need some modifications, some massaging to fit, um, but I'm really hoping to get as much of an OEM fit as possible. So now before all the RX-7 purists come out and crucify me for this, please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and with that out of the way, let's get stuck into it. The reason why I've had to take this fascia out to fit the head unit is because these edges will need to be trimmed back to fit the larger screen. So in total about 6mm wider and 3mm taller. The head unit's still not here yet but I have the exact dimensions of the display and since we've got nothing to do, we're in lockdown, I thought we might as well just send it. This is what we're working with. So about an hour later. Um, and we've done three of the four edges now um, and it's, it's already getting pretty late so we might do the, the other one tomorrow. I've been using a knife and what I'm doing is I'm running the knife. I'd start off with about 10 very light um, passes just to get a groove into the material to make sure I get a straight line and then I'll really put my body weight into it and then uh, finally uh, be able to cut this. So I've just taken off the door card to access the front speakers. To fit a larger speaker, you'll also need a speaker adapter to suit. And all we have to do is wire up this connector. These are the MJM speaker adapters to suit a six and a half inch speaker. And my speakers of choice are the Rockford Fosgate prime speakers all round, front and rear. I've had these in the Civic before and they're amazing. They're quite clear and they do have some decent bass. The rear speakers are 6x8 and the front speakers are 6.5 inch. What we're going to be doing is reusing these connectors from the stock speakers so that everything plugs directly into the factory harness.
got my blue which is the positive and my grey which is the negative. Simple as that. Positive, negative. About five minutes later and we've got the other one done. So much easier than having to modify the factory bracket. So this will go straight into the door and the door cards can go back in. And that's the front speakers done. So it turns out this bracket does need a little modification to fit. Everything looks like it'll mount up nicely to all the screw holes but uh, the adapter impedes on this harness. So before it goes back on, you'll need to trim a small rectangular piece to go over the harness. get to the rear speaker I'm gonna to have to remove the rear quarter panel you're gonna to want to take your time and and be careful because you don't want to break the plastic tabs holding this in I've done the other side already and I found that you don't actually have to remove the whole piece you just have to bring it forward enough so that you can slide the rear speaker bracket um, between the panel and the uh, and the quarter This is you, and this is the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Alright, so we've got both of them on the bench. Um, I've already installed this one, this is the passenger side, and I just wanted to show you why this bracket needs to come out. This speaker is actually glued down to this bracket. You can see there's some adhesive on the edges there and, and over the, the screw holes too. So you actually need to pry this whole speaker out before you can put the new one in. Both speakers done now. The stock speaker has uh, a connector there um, and I can't salvage this so it won't be plug and play but what I'll do is just solder in these two wires um, and this should provide the positive and negative to the speaker on the back here. Booster boys building rotaries now. Oh yeah. Bit of an update. I've uh, soldered in the two wires for the positive and negative on the right side speaker so yeah this will just go back in there plug into the speaker and the bracket can go back in one eternity later finally finally got the head unit I waited a good two months for this, but um, it's all good, it's finally here, and uh, yeah. So this is everything you get in the box, You've got the single DIN head unit, and the bracket, I won't be using this bracket, I've already got a double DIN one in my car. This is uh, the wiring harness with an ISO connector at the end, nowadays it's very easy.
Just go to your local Super Cheap or Repco and pick up this vehicle harness. And this will plug into the ISO Universal connector uh, and this connector will go into the car. So I shouldn't need to solder anything. These are the two 4G antennas. You can put a SIM card in this unit, uh, but I just don't drive the car enough. This is the GPS antenna and I will be using this. I'm going to be using this for race chrono, so the lap timer. Um, you can also use this for Google Maps and also I'm, I might be able to use this to track the car. Just two USB extensions and a microphone and most importantly the display. So this is the bigger 8 inch screen which comes with it and this is the reason why I've had to cut the fascia. So I'm going to connect this head unit onto the display. that and it should just go straight on top four clips and that's in so I've already gone ahead and fitted everything up and I've got two holes here one on each side just so that this head unit is secure onto the bracket I've got my wiring harness, which plugs straight in here. And the eyes are connector into this harness. As simple as that. Look at that. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get it in the car. So we're on to mounting the GPS antenna. I'm just using some double sided tape and we're going to be putting it right in the corner there, running it through to the side vent behind the glove box into the cavity behind the head unit. Here is the fascia, all ported and polished. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Just with simple hand tools and a knife, um, it actually came out really straight and neat. So the head unit's back in the car, and now this fascia should just go straight in. And that's it for the episode guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed that one. Honestly, I am stoked at how it turned out and I do plan on doing a full review and a tour of the head unit, so stay tuned for that. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because we've got a lot of cool content coming up and I don't want you to miss that. So stay safe everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.